All right, guys. So in this video, I will teach you how to make this plain Dollar Tree craft pumpkin into this rustic, charming little concrete pumpkin. So you may or may not want to use a glue gun. I use these cosmetic sponges in place of paint brushes or anything, but you can definitely use paint brushes if that's what you have. I just prefer these. And then if you like to get into all those nooks and crannies, you can definitely use a toothbrush. I didn't happen to use it. Um, this is the craft pumpkin that you will pick up from the Dollar Tree. It's very plain and cheap looking, but as you can see, there are many ways that you can make it look much more high end. You're going to want some Elmer's glue to coat it, especially if you want that crackle finish look. Um, so definitely make sure you have some Elmer's glue and then whatever paint colors you choose. For my base, I chose a beige and a white. And for my detailing colors, I chose the brown and the metallic gold. You can choose any colors you want. If you want to use oranges, you can use oranges or greens or anything. So it's up to you on the paint colors. The other thing that I chose to use were these cinnamon sticks. And I chose these for two reasons. I liked the rustic look that they gave. And you just pop this top off of the pumpkin. And there's just like a foam hole in there. There is a toothpick. It's really sturdy, so you're not really going to be able to get that off unless you cut it. Um, so I chose to use cinnamon sticks. You could just pop them right in there. Um, you can choose to just paint the top a different color. I've seen where people have painted foil and used foil to kind of give it more of a twisted vine look. It is really up to you what you want to do with it. If you want to make it super easy, just go ahead and repaint that top cap and you'll be fine. Um, the last thing I needed was a rag. And you, this you'll use basically um, for your detailing colors. And it'll be to like wipe them on and off. So here is what it looks like after I spray painted it. You don't have to do this, but I wanted a more concrete look. And the spray paint does eat away at the foam a little bit, giving it kind of this, um, you know, more rocky look. If that's not the look you want to go for on your pumpkin, you definitely don't have to spray paint it. You can just use regular paint, and it's not as harsh, and it won't cause your pumpkin to do that. So here I'm just applying some Elmer's glue. Now I chose to put this over the spray paint so that any crackling effect would show the dark color underneath and not the orange color. That is my preference um, for this specific project. You don't have to do it. You could put your glue straight on the pumpkin. Um, it's really up to you. So here you guys can see I'm just trying to coat the whole pumpkin the best that I can with the Elmer's glue. And this is really not hard to apply. As you can see, just kind of squirt some on there. Or you can do like I did at the beginning and put some on a tray and use your sponge. But... I kind of found it to be easy just to put it on there because then I knew exactly how much I needed to use. Um, and then I could reapply easily right on top. So that's the route I went. But like I said, you can definitely just put it down and use your sponge to dip it in the glue if that's easier. So after you have your pumpkin completely coated in the glue, you're going to want to put your base color on now. So I've mixed my white and my beige. It's mostly white. It's just a hint of beige, and it actually just kind of gives it a little bit of um, texture to the color. So you're just going to go ahead and apply this over the glue to the entire pumpkin once that glue has dried. I'm not actually going to make you sit and watch me do the entire pumpkin. It did take a few coats. Um, I believe it took me about three coats to cover it completely to where it looks like this. So once you've gotten all of your coats on and you're satisfied, then you're going to want to do your accent color. So like I said, mine was with brown and the metallic gold. So here you'll take your rag and you're just going to kind of dry brush it into the creases 
Um, you'll get the color everywhere, but you want your creases to be darker than the rest of the pumpkin. So definitely do your creases first. Brush it on there. And then have a little cup of water nearby so that you can dip the other end of your rag into the water. Um, and then that way you can kind of mute the effect so it's not so harsh. So here I'll show you how you do that technique. So you just dip it in the water. It's really very simple. And then you just brush over the pumpkin and it will kind of take away and blend in that color. So like I said, it's not quite so harsh in those areas. But you can still see where you've got the effects of the um, creases having darker paint than the rest of the pumpkin. That is more of what you're going to want because it's going to give detail to the creases so that you can see them better. It might take a little bit of um, trial and error to see exactly how much paint you want on there. You might rub off too much and want to put a little bit more on, but it's it's a really still a very simple way to get such a nice look to these pumpkins, I think. And you guys, like I said, can put on as much paint as you want or wipe off as much paint as you want. It can be mostly white. You can make it mostly, you know, de with this detailed color. It's up to you and your creativity and the look you are going for. And, um, you know, don't be afraid of trying this out. This was the first time I had done this type of project. And I was extremely satisfied and pleasantly surprised by how easy it was. It Sometimes it looks like it's harder, like other people know where they want the paint to go and you have no idea. But it's really not that, I guess, that bad. Once you get started, then you kind of understand it. And it's really pretty easy, and I really liked the way that this turned out. All right, so here I am showing you basically I stuck two cinnamon sticks inside, but I wanted a fuller look. So I did wrap a couple of smaller pieces that I had cut up um, to wrap around the top. So I'm tying these together with some jute cord that I also got from the Dollar Tree. Uh, the cinnamon sticks are from the Dollar Tree, the pumpkins from the Dollar Tree, and the makeup sponges are all from the Dollar Tree. Plus you can also get the um, glue gun refills at the Dollar Tree as well. So most of these things came from the Dollar Tree. So here I am just tying those things together. I feel like this gave it a bit of a rustic look to have the jute cord tied around the cinnamon sticks and it really finished off the look making it look very rustic and cute and I was very very pleased with the outcome of this project. And the cinnamon sticks really do give it a nice scent. If you wanted a stronger cinnamon smell, you could definitely even use a funnel and put some like um, toasted cinnamon sugar into the actual pumpkin and it would have even more smell. So if that's something that you chose to do, um, I think that that would be a great addition to this project. But this is what it looks like now that it's all put together. I'm just tweaking the bow a little bit here, <laughs> trying to get it perfect, and then I'll cut off the little bit of excess on the jute cord. But this is what the final product looks like. I'll show it to you guys out here in some natural light as well so you can see it a little better. So this is it outside. The size of these pumpkins are pretty nice too. They're not too small, um, but they're also not huge. 
So I thought it was kind of a nice sized um, pumpkin. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys like this project, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys try it at home, um, leave a comment down below and let me know how you did. Bye.